Are you a small YouTuber grinding toward that first 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours? I'm right there with you. In this series, I'll share the real numbers, the wins, and the roadblocks on my journey toward YouTube monetization. Every month, I'll break down exactly what's working and what's not so that we can reach that goal together. Let's dive into the latest stats and strategies and see what's helping us grow. Hey there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Asai, a travel agent specializing in luxury and all-inclusive vacations. Expect resort tours, insider travel tips, and everything you need to plan your next dream trip. Okay, so a little bit of backstory before we dive into my analytics. And if you want to skip through, I will have timestamps in the description. So my YouTube backstory, I actually started my channel back in 2016 when I became a travel agent, but I never really posted anything to it. Just a few videos here and there, a couple tours I did. And then I actually have several private videos that I'm hosting for clients, Back in January 2024, I actually took a trip to Mexico and I toured several resorts over a four-day period. And at that point, that's when I decided I was really going to focus on my YouTube channel. I've had really fantastic growth, uh, especially in terms of the number of views that I have. The subscriber count is definitely slower to come through, and I think that that's completely normal. But this is something that I want to explore over the next several months and do a monthly update on where my channel stands. Now, in October and actually the beginning of November, I've hit several new milestones that are pretty exciting that I want to cover a little bit later on in this video. Uh, but I just wanted to really document and try to nail down and figure out on this deep dive for my analytics of what really is working and what isn't. And my goal every month is just to do a little bit better in every single video that I upload and put out there. If you're a small YouTube channel, please post down in the comments, tell us what your channel's all about, what your subscriber count is, and what you are working on this month to get to that monetization. So with all of that said, let's go dive into my analytics. Okay, so here we are in my YouTube studio and I've pulled up everything from the month of October. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna look at is my subscriber growth. So right now um, in October, I actually gained 37 subscribers, which as you can see was 54% more than basically September. Uh, my overall subscriber count right now as of today, which is November, 12th, I think. <laughs> um, I do have 211 subscribers and that was one of the big milestones that I was so excited to reach was that I actually hit 200 subscribers and that was so exciting. Um, and I know that October was a big part of that. Um, now, if we look at over time, um, my September subscriber growth was only 23 and then going back to August, I had 29 subscribers. So 37 in October was very exciting. Now you can see that my watch time is 800 and 75.8 hours, which was also higher than the month of September, 35% more. And my views, I have 16.1 thousand views. So my views are great, and I'll get into that a little bit more in detail later. Um, but it's just that the subscriber count seems to take a little bit longer to get to that 1,000 subscriber base. And from what I've seen from other small YouTube channels, that's pretty common. Okay, for my top content in just a minute, right now let's go over to the content tab. And you can, and from here we can see where my viewers and subscribers are coming from. So my new viewers are coming from my long form videos, 7.3 thousand views and 3.5 thousand shorts. And I'll go into more detail when I go back to um, specific content that I've posted. Returning viewers, I'm actually really excited to see quite a few returning viewers coming back. 1.1 thousand for my long form videos and 314 from shorts. Now I'm not very big into the shorts game. You'll see that in a moment. And then subscribers, I've gained 25 from my long form videos and five from my shorts videos. 
So you can see overall for the month of September, I have 12,000 views on my long form videos and uh, over 4,000 views on my shorts videos, which is super exciting. Now let's go to the content that I actually posted in October. I'm gonna go back to the overview tab and you can see that I posted. So I had one, two, three, four, five long form videos and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shorts videos. And that was something that I was kind of testing out in the month of October was are shorts going to help drive more subscribers to my channel? And I actually think that they are. My goal for the shorts that I posted was to ensure that I linked a related video so that Hopefully some of these shorts viewers would then go to my long form video, which was a related topic and hopefully subscribe from there or at least gain views from there. I think that it's safe to say that it worked and it's something that I'm going to have to make sure that I keep up for the month of November and see where we are at that time. Let's go down and check out the top content for the month of October. And you can see here that um, this video here, this Catalonia Grand Costa Mujeres overview or full review and tour has the most views. That's a video I posted way back in February. And this video, I think right now actually has 22 to 25,000 views. I still can't quite figure out why. I'm not sure if this is a hot resort that people are really searching for, but for right now, it is a top performing video for me. My next video is the Atelier Playa Mujeres overview. So another resort tour uh, with 1300 views. And then Iberia Star Pareso Maya with nearly 1300, 1288 views. And then number four, Dreams Flora Resort and Spa. This was one posted October 16th. And this is a resort that I just stayed seven nights at. And that one received um, one over 1,000 views, which is not bad for only being posted for a couple of weeks. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that one. And then finally, this Catalonia Playa Maroma full review with nearly 1,950 views. So if you want to see my top content for the life of my channel, um, I have this seriously old and this is one of the original this is probably the first and original video that i posted on the on my youtube channel and it's a poorly done carnival pride ship tour with 24,650 views it doesn't really get any more views currently it's just the top performing video on my feed and then coming up, like I said, is that Catalonia Grand Costa Mujeres full review and tour with over 22,000 views. The Iberostar Star Maya with 9,286 views. The Catalonia Playa Maroma. So you can see these are all um, some of the top performing videos that we saw for the month of October with 9,200 views. And then um, an adults only tour of Catalonia Royal Tulum with nearly 7,700 views. Okay, let's go over to the audience tab. And we're gonna go back to October and we can see that I have 1,200 or nearly 1,200 returning viewers 18% more than in the month of September, which is so exciting to see all of this growth. I have nearly 12,000 unique viewers, 45% more than September. And like we talked about earlier, 37 subscribers. Okay, so diving in a little bit deeper with my audience, I'm gonna click this see more tab. Okay, so let's take a look at the traffic source for these videos that I have posted. We're gonna click on the traffic source tab here and you can see that most of my views are coming from the youtube search and that's a pretty targeted um strategy that i have is to most of my content is more evergreen uh, i do focus on resort tours and reviews and all things resorts and i want to shift a little bit into cruises as well uh, but it's very searchable terms, which is great for views. And like I said, just trying to get those subscribers to come over too. Um, I did get, I did get 20% of my views from the shorts feed, a few external, 
which uh, would be traffic from websites and apps. Um, and you can see all these different um, categories where the traffic sources were. And then let's go over to subscription source. And I got out of my 37 subscribers gained this month, um, 25 came from the YouTube watch page, which is awesome. That means that my videos are being recommended and shown to viewers, and that's ideal. Five from my YouTube channel, five from the shorts feed, one from other, some sort of other source, and one from a YouTube search. Take a look at the lifetime subscription source. I think that this is really interesting. Of my 211 subscribers, nearly 80% of them are coming from the YouTube watch page, which is really what you want because you want your videos to be suggested on the YouTube watch page. So that's exciting. Okay, let's jump out of here and go take a look at my earn tab and see where we are and talk about some of those big milestones that I hit this month, which is so exciting. So as I scroll down and check my eligibility, for the first level of YouTube monetization, you need 500 subscribers. And right now, as of November 7th, I had 211. You need to have three video uploads in the last 90 days and at least 3,000 watch hours or 3 million uh, shorts views. I'm nowhere near that for the shorts views, but this month I did hit that 4,000 watch hours, which was so exciting. And again, I think that's just from posting more evergreen resort tour related content. So as you can see, as I scroll down to the big monetization, which is what everybody wants, Google AdSense, I have a long way to go to get to that 1,000. I'm about a fifth of the way, but I'm set to go for the 4,000 public watch hours. So I swear as I keep doing these videos, I will get much better with this whole analytics part of this video. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video and make sure you come back next month. If you enjoyed this, found it helpful or informative in any way, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye guys.